Hey, hello from the motherland. I am on U.S. soil. I am in Milwaukee. It's about as American as it gets over here, and it feels so good to be back. Although I've got to say, when we lived in Turkey and I'd be flying back to the States, landing at O'Hare, which is usually where we fly into, I would feel the biggest sense of like nationalism and excitement to hear English, to order a cheeseburger, to just feel like the safety of being on U.S. soil, like the second I touch down at the airport and, and just hearing American accents. I do not feel like that now that we live in London. So it's a very different dynamic. Um, you know, I never feel like London's very foreign and I don't think that's just the language barrier. I think it's just the culture and we feel so at home there that I don't crave home so much, if that makes sense. But that being said, it is really good to be back. And I realized I have not told you yet why I'm here. So what am I doing in the States? And where is my baby? And where is my husband? I am here for a wedding. I'm actually officiating a wedding between two very good friends. I am so excited. John and Maddie. So you, you will see. I will document. Tonight's the rehearsal dinner. Tomorrow we'll be getting ready. And tomorrow night wedding. And then a brunch the next morning. It's ironic because Sam was supposed to be a groomsman in the wedding. But it's the opening night of their season. So he couldn't come. So he is back in London with Wolfie. I flew down here for like, I think it's a total of two and a half days. So uh, short trip. That's the beauty also of living in London and not Istanbul or Russia where it's just so much more daunting of a flight. Uh, the flight was lovely. The flight was so nice. I forgot how easy it is to travel with no baby. To just sit and relax. And what I worked on on the flight is also a huge reason of why I'm here. I'm the officiant of this wedding. And I know what you're thinking. Why? <laughs> I, I don't know either. I'm thrilled to be asked. Um, John and Maddie asked me via letter, a handwritten letter they mailed to London last spring. And I cried when I read it. I couldn't believe. Um, John is Wolfie's godfather too. And I've known him since I was about eight. And then I've known Maddie since he started dating her about two years ago. So I mean, I'm just blown away that I'm officiating the wedding. So on the flight, I really got all my notes together and I wrote out my, not sermon, although I am ordained to do this shindig, but I wrote out like my message. Obviously I'm following a script for the majority of the service, the ceremony, and like the exchange of rings and the vows and everything has to be done a certain way, but they did put in there two different parts where I freestyle. And I wanted to put a lot of thought into it and I wanted to make it really personal and special. So that's what I worked on on the flight. I knew I couldn't really give it my full attention until I was alone on a plane. Um, I couldn't have the baby running around or uh, thinking about work or you know, even have Wi-Fi to be answering texts and whatnot. I just needed the complete focus and I feel really good about it. I interviewed both sets of parents and the couple to just get some backstories and some context and to fill in some gaps. So I wanna make it really personal and really special. If you've officiated a wedding, can you please comment below what you did and, and what you liked and what people liked? Because I really, I'm just kind of guessing here. I haven't been to any weddings, I don't think, that a non, like, person of the cloth has officiated. Um, I've been to Jewish weddings, I've been to Catholic weddings, I've been to Protestant weddings, but yeah, I've never been one where like a friend does it. So it's funny that this is my first time. My husband's whole family will be here, so I feel so bad he can't see them and see our friends. And this is one of his very good childhood friends as the groom. Um, so I'm representing Sam, Wolfie, and myself as they can't be here, which is sad, but it's gonna be a big, big chummy fun weekend full of love with people we love so I can't just wait to have my arms around everyone and celebrate. So I also did not check a bag which is I think impressive but it's not so impressive considering my mom mailed my rehearsal dinner dress for tonight. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Oh. How cute is that? It's from ASOS. My sister wore it recently in a wedding and I asked her to send it to me for tonight. Let's see this. Okay, not the best mirror to show since it's 
all wonky, but wow, that is cute. My mother-in-law is bringing down the dress that I'm actually gonna wear for the wedding. So yeah, I carried on, but the bulk of my wardrobe for a very important weekend is being <laughs> delivered or brought to me. So that's exciting. Um, and then I also just wanted to show my travel outfit today because it was mwah, just so comfy. Like super long. I got it from Reserved, which is like the Polish Zara. This cable knit, I think, looks very like expensive and high quality. I, I get kind of like Ralph Lauren vibes from it. The black, I'm going back and getting it in black because I've been wearing this so much already. I love like the thick ribbing here. They are super high and they have like legit section, um, which I really love, super comfy. And they have like a little shine to them too, which I think makes them look better as like something to wear. And then the last thing is this tank that I got to free people. Um, it has a built-in bra, although it does give you a lot of lift, sometimes a little too much lift. And it's a crop style and it's kind of loose here. So it looks really cute with a high waist, even if you did like a jean short or something. I love this so much. I want to get it in every color. I would wear it in black all the time, but it's this thick um, square neck. The material is just insanely, insanely soft. And like I said, built in bra, but no cups. So when you wash it, it's not gonna be funny. I can't say enough good things about this top. An amazing travel outfit, so comfy. Right before a big flight for a big weekend, I always, always do my own tanning with tan lux on my face and then I do the Isle of Paradise foam on my body. So then I showered it off this morning before my flight and just feel like I kind of have this nice tan but I don't feel overdone sometimes like if you get a spray tan. So that is my travel day look. Okay, I'm either going to nap or get a coffee. I can't quite decide what direction I wanna go in or maybe go get a cocktail because the hotel we're staying at has an amazing rooftop bar and I have no responsibilities. I mean, I'm officiating the wedding, but I have no kid to keep alive, so things are good. Anyways, that's a little update. I will show you whatever we do next. Okay, about to head up to the rooftop to get drinks with some of the bridal party and the bride and groom, and I wanted to show the dress on, and I was obsessed for obvious reason. Isn't it fun? It's kind of like a blazer dress. It cut, it has all like these attachments here. I'm pairing it with my little Dior kitten heel to kind of tone it down. And I feel like that does that, you know, to make it a little bit more fun, it would have been like a sparkly gold heel like these, but I think I'm gonna save that for tomorrow night and just keep this kind of um, pretty and simple. Use a look in here. I just did a quick little updo and these gold and pearl earrings are from Francesca's. Okay. Yeah. No, this isn't how this works. Uh, yeah. what? No, you have to pay extra for two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, beautiful evening. Oh, rehearsing your hugs. I come up here. Yeah, you do? We can ask the planner. How are you feeling? You know, pretty good. I'm the documentarian of the weekend. Okay. Okay. So we're going to the MTV Beach House after this. No. <laughs> Showing my age. Yeah. Maddie, Maddie will be like, what's the MTV <laughs> Beach House? That's how you get married a younger woman. You seriously, got the teacher. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you are a vision, Maddie. She's in the Okay, I want you guys to meet one of my best, oldest friends. Hey there. This is Maura, and she just like did this amazing twist of my hair. Does limited it look good? supplies, limited supplies. So no Maura and I have known each other since we were eight. Yep. And she was just laughing. Maura was a huge tomboy growing up, and she said all the girly things she learned in life were like from me and my sisters. Yeah, truly. But yet yeah, here she is now doing my glam wedding hair. Look how far you've come. <laughs> oh, we love Maura. She's my roomie tonight. Yeah, we're gonna have so much fun. So we're getting ready for the wedding. I have to go a little bit earlier. After I officiate, I feel like I can relax, like take a breath. Right now I'm like a little nervous. I want my hair to like stay. because I'm really proud of the handiwork. The glam, I just did some lashes. They went on so easily. Um, we kind of are doing like a Chanel. What like era is this look? Oh. Like, 50s, 60s kind of with the bow. 
wrong girl to ask. <laughs> Tom girl. No. Nice. But I would say it's like a Parisian girly look. Parisian girly look, yeah. Nice. I had three dress options and I just wanted to pick something that was like simple and appropriate. Um, meanwhile, look what Moore is wearing. Hello, and let's look at the Manolos. Oh! Wait till you see these shoes. We're just hoping the hair stays until she's on the dance floor. Oh my god. These are like so fun. Okay, I gotta put on my shoes and get ready. And we'll see you at the wedding. Um, okay, I missed the most important detail. I'm Holy a, cow. I'm a book nerd. Oh. My purse is a little Great Gatsby book. Where did you get this? Um, honestly, I got it on Moda Opera. Uh, no, no, no. I got it on uh, The Real Real. We love a deal. Oh my god. So who makes it? Like, um, it's a... What designer is this? Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to know from my mom. I'm blanking on the name. Oh, you're so cute. It's, uh, oh, Charlotte Olympian. Is oh that? Olympia Litam. This is... I'm probably butchering that. This is so iconic. Here, let me see. She makes other, like, really cute book purses. Like yeah. Children's books, stuff like that. <sighs> That is so cute! You have such great style. Oh, thanks, okay, girl. had to include that. Now I have to go. Yep. We are really nicely. Nice. The bride's dress is a little rush water. Tied to go for the win. Wow, Maddie, this is like, your mom is a miracle worker. Once again, it's like gone. It's gone. Yeah. It is white. Never here, the type yeah, of situation you want on your wedding day. You went from rust to white. I mean, some champagne, some yeah, coffee, you and this is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. tired flower girl. So, I'm yeah. yeah. bow. And we are on the clock. We are about to start. Let's go. I'm gonna get your makeup. Oh my god. You look so pretty. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah. Do you feel like all day you've just been like waiting around? Kind of. It's felt like a long day. Yeah, I know. You yeah, have a wedding hasn't even started. Yeah, yeah. An angel Barbie bride. You look like the bride that's on the top of a fake wedding cake. It's like you look like you drew a picture of a bride. You. You're perfect. Thank you. Gorgeous girl. Pretty married? She's not here. She's gone. Not me. Not me. Not me. Hi. Hi. That's awesome. Have you seen her? Turns out. No. no I'm not movies. Not movies. Okay. So there's this Russian guy, and he goes to the bar. I got you. This? Okay, okay. Hippopotamus. Yeah, that's my All vlog. Right. Oh, that's for your vlog? Okay. Cut. Okay. Click. <laughs> Three, two, one. My director. Right, <laughs> <laughs> hey there, hi. hi. Uh, vlogger ever since I got back from the wedding. I have been radio silent, haven't filmed a thing, but we really haven't done that much, so you haven't missed anything. But oh my gosh, was the wedding amazing. Just wanted to pop on and update. God, I hate when people say, I just wanted to pop on here and tell you blah, blah, so I don't know why I just said that. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm headed to the Copper Box Arena where Sam's team is playing their first home game of the season. Now Sam is still not playing, which really sucks. Um, he's still, I think, a couple weeks out. I don't know, I'm not his doctor, I'm just his cheerleader. So I'm really excited to actually go to his games and like cheer him on. It's just like the most exhilarating, like my heart just beats out of my chest. Um, I get so nervous and so excited and so into the games. But still like, you know, he signed a three-year extension with this team. We are so invested in this team. We are all in on this team. So rooting for their success and just cheering them on I'm just so excited to finally watch a game in person again. It's gonna be a blast. 
Um, so that's what I'm doing. I just wrapped up my show and right here is where I do like a whole setup. I have three big lights, I have a microphone, um, but we do it all via Skype, which is incredible that that's how we're doing a full full production show on YouTube. I'm, I'm feeling really good. Sam and I just read our horoscopes last night, which we absolutely never do, but someone told us that we were a horrible match as a Taurus and Aries. So we thought that was BS and we had to dig into it, but my horoscope for the month said that it's gonna be a very, uh, what's the word it used? Like things are coming into fruition. So I'm really excited, I feel that. I feel like a lot of good is coming our way. Um, and it kind of started this week with a good interview and some exciting assignments. And then now Sam's season starting. I'm getting so lazy though, this is back on my phone because I don't want to walk around with my camera. I should get my camera. No, I just don't like, I just don't like bringing it out on a pop if I don't have to. Okay, Ooh, here we are on my iPhone, bye. Wanted to show the outfit and yes, that was a canned gin and tonic you just saw. That's coming in my Uber with me. Um, I'm doing like a cropped Zara jean and a little pointy toed black boot. My Gucci sweater, which is navy, not black, but I'm kind of pulling it all together with some black in the Gucci purse. And I've got this Zara blazer, some red, and that's the look. I didn't have time to do my hair, so a big claw clip it is. And I still have my makeup on for my show, which I love efficient makeup doing. So I just do it once and I get two events out of it. Okay, bye. So I'm a big doofus. If you see behind me, that is not where Sam plays the Copper Box Arena. That's where West Ham United plays. And I guess there's a huge soccer game tonight. And I was walking by and my Uber said he couldn't drop me off because all the streets were closed. And so I said, okay, I'll just walk from here. And I saw the crowds walking in. I thought they were all going to the basketball game. No, they're all going to the soccer game, of course. This is soccer country. So he dropped me off super far away and I'm walking through the park. There's the beautiful West Ham Stadium. I still have a bit of a walk. I'm walking alone in the dark, but there are tons of people around. It's a little detour. I'm glad Sam's not playing because I'm late to this game. I'm so excited for the day ahead. First of all, I showed you how beautiful it is outside. Got a little stretching, some yoga in, some time with my boys this morning. But now I'm headed out for a super fun day with my friend, Amy. You all know Amy. Okay, so I wanna show you this outfit before I go. It's like a wide leg pant that I love in this Ralph Lauren Bear sweater. And underneath, I'm wearing that, I can't remember if I've showed it on here yet, the Free People tank with the built-in bra that I'm just obsessed with. I need to link this if I haven't yet. Wow, is it nice. And the reason I'm doing so, well, one, I'm doing this tucking in trick that if I were wearing a normal bra, I would do it in that. But this is to go in the little built-in bra, which is not as strong, so I'm a little nervous, won't hold all day. And I'm gonna do it in the back too. Um, that way, kind of makes my sweater like cropped, which I think looks really cute with the high waisted pant. Um, and that way, you're not tucking it in the pants. So you don't have like um, frumpiness here. So now it's nice and smooth. Let me make sure I like it. What's on the docket for today? Well, we are going into the English countryside, about two hours away. It takes an hour almost to get to Paddington Station. And then from there, we're taking a train, we just booked it last night, to um, really Oxfordshire, and we're going to Soho Farmhouse. And I'm so excited, because when I joined Soho House, the main point 
living in the UK was to go to farmhouse, which is supposed to be amazing. I have built this up so big in my head. I really hope it doesn't disappoint. And they have a big food festival today. So they're gonna have a bunch of like tents and vendors and music um, all set up on their like main lawn. Sam's with Wolfie for a good bit of the day. And then when he goes to practice, um, we have our sitter coming. So everyone's taken care of. I feel really good about it. Okay, let me show you this hat. I can't find anywhere to put my camera that like makes sense. Okay, how do we like this hat moment? It's kind of like scene double, which I think is kind of like ironic and funny. I also think just a hat is cute and I like picture English countryside vibes. Also, I didn't take any footage the other night at the game, I realized, or when we got home. I should have done that because Sam and I have a little tradition that we eat Indian food and sit on the couch and we stay up so late after games. We like can't turn our minds off. There's like too much adrenaline, especially Sam. Um, but it was a really nice night. It was so good to go and meet the new girls and see the old girls. Um, obviously that includes Amy. And then we have some new friends who I know are gonna make an appearance on the vlog. Lolly is like this spicy Spanish mamacita. I can't wait for you guys to meet her. She's like, I'm obsessed. She's amazing. She'll be very good content, let's just say. She's fantastic. Um, so really excited about that. So we have a good group of girls. We're less than last year. We had a squad last year and everyone had a baby. So it's like, we were like a daycare at games. Now the whole team's like more young and single, so. Different, different makeup and that's just the basketball life, which is why I'm like trying to make friends just in London outside of basketball so that I don't like feel sad every year when they leave because there's such turnover every year. So it's been a quiet week. I feel like I've just been getting back on the time schedule and like recouping from the amazing wedding weekend, which just wore me out. It was like 48 hours I was in the States and that was just, yeah, that was exhausting. So do we like this hat moment? For makeup, I just did like really glowy and tan. I did tan luxe last night on my face, which is the quickest results. You can even see results in a couple hours if you like do it in the morning before work and then go to work. You're tan by lunch. So sunny and beautiful. I'm not gonna bring a jacket. I'm just gonna hope that my sweater keeps me warm. But I get the sense that Farmhouse has this like elevated kind of chic English countryside thing. But I also don't wanna show up and look like you know, too hoity-toity when everyone's in like t-shirts. Like that's the vibe of other sew houses. So we'll see. Regardless, I always feel like it's better to be overdressed than underdressed. I like my outfit. I know Amy's like gonna slay. She said she's wearing like a denim jumpsuit. Um, I gotta head to the station. Yes, I do. And I'll show you her outfit and we'll chat more on the train. Bye. Let's see your outfit. I knew it was gonna be good. Ooh, I knew it was gonna be good. Where yeah, jumpsuit. Jumpsuit. It's from Pretty Little Thing. The platform nine and three quarters. Oh, yes. Vlogging partner in crime. Yes. You've now been on the Barcelona vlog. No. You've been <laughs> on the uh, Notting Hill Carnival vlog. If you think I don't have a couple cocktails tucked away in this bag, yeah. then you have another <laughs> thing covered. Okay, our chariot awaits. Let's go. And we are seeing the beautiful countryside. Let's see. Focus camera, focus. Serving to go to the what? Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> and explain to US people like how so, UK people use like that I'm word. Seven. I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> but so we've been we've both been deciding what to put for this caption. And then your girl, a genius, just came up with I said, what if you spell countryside without the O? Pretty good. <laughs> and now she's posting a new story. But it has taken us like an hour and a half to yeah. come up with the right. And no one's gonna read it anyway, so it's like <laughs> it's fine. Friends do, that's what girls do. Like coming up with a caption. Have you ever sent like a group text with like a bunch of girlfriends in it, like three different versions of a picture and be yeah. like, pick the right one? And they one. all look exactly the same, but. But they don't. Yeah. Yeah. Every time. Every time. Uh, we missed our stop. <laughs> we missed it by one stop, so we're not too far. But now we're trying to get an Uber. And uh, what do you think we were doing? Like, were we distracted? Yeah. Were we drinking? Were we taking pictures, videos? <laughs> ah! A little bit late. Cute little cheeky stop though. Oops. 
Okay, so we're getting back on the train that we should have been on before. How long have we been here? Like half an hour maybe, I don't know. I think 45 minutes. Wasn't uh, it 1.15 and now it's 2? Yeah. Yeah, so we are back getting on the train to go back one stop. Hopefully which is, this one. I don't know, and then we still have to get a cab and it's 15 minutes. Like, well, whatever, we're doing it. <laughs> Things are looking up, baby. Yeah. Things are looking up. Yeah. We thought we'd have to go home empty handed oh, and no. <laughs> go back to London with their tail between our legs. <laughs> Thank yeah, this you. This is honestly my first time being here. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. I live up north, but I've just oh, not really. That's a good northern accent. That's yeah, good. isn't yeah. it? Right? I'm, I'm from York. 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 My football team comes from there. So oh, really? What's that? It's uh, up at Burnley. 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 Okay. Burnley. <laughs> anyway, we'll put that right. Oh, thank you. This is such a nice place. It is. Yeah, welcome to the Cotswolds. <laughs> Mine, if I do. Um, for the record, it's two. 40. I left my place at 10 a.m. and we just made it. So that, is this worth it, Amy? Yes. Yeah, I'd say it's worth it. Um, so we're in like a little shuttle to go up, which is super fun. Makes it all feel very, very fancy. Where to next? Are cute, Amy. Even the bathrooms. Are we not having the best day? So good. The best day. It took us long enough. Let's talk about that. I, I don't even <laughs> want to think about the way home. Like we are not missing our train stop. This is it. <laughs> this is it. No, we're having a great time. Okay, we've escaped a little bit to check out some of the wildlife. So we just saw some pigs <laughs> with um, some large, large mm. male genitalia. <laughs> Which I, I don't know why, I just didn't think pigs had that. I never thought about it. Um, now we're coming here to see the goats who apparently have their own Instagram page. And everyone's just like running around on bikes and kids everywhere. And the weather's amazing and there's different DJs set up all around and like drink tents. Never leave. <laughs> Come back here every weekend. I know, every weekend. When I die, I'm pretty sure this is the heaven I will be going to. I think you get to pick your own heaven. <laughs> this is it. And Amy's there. Which means it might not be heaven, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, girl. No, okay, has this yes. day not like been our best day ever? This has been the best day ever. Notice how we're just not going anywhere. We're just like laughing. Like making friends, talking to strangers, touching goats, looking at pigs' balls. <laughs> the biggest balls <laughs> the I've biggest ever balls. seen. This is heaven. 